Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! How are you guys doing? Uh, welcome to today's video where I ask the important question Is it important to get the Nameless Honor, which is the Battle Pass, in Honkai? I will tell you this I think it has a pretty good value for what it can offer. Uh, I think once you hit level 40 and you start farming gear and like you know hit end game you will find this item which is pretty good for crafting gear when you get shafted on the main stats as you're looking for uh it's premium like it's premium um resource that you probably might need if you don't like have time to farm gear or like you hate that thing from genshin it's gonna make it easy for you plus the amount of credit that you can get, the amount of XP that you can get. Like, it's pretty good value. Also, you get summons, you get um, Sir Jade, so it's, it's pretty good, okay? But the most important thing, <laughs> the most important thing that you get from this is the light cones. Uh, I would say they're all pretty good for what they can offer, especially that this is, like, judging with Genshin, this is going to be the light cones forever with the battle pass everyone every time it resets you can just select the one that you want and i feel like all of them are are fine but there is one there are two that i really like which is return to darkness for your hunt character that you starving to get crit for uh this is the one for you at max you get 24 just by existing it's like a gear piece give you 24 crit it's really good right and on top of that you get the fix a chance so i feel like it's pretty good uh for like if you if you're lacking with the dps um light cones this is a good choice of course i'll talk about the five stars in another video but there is the free to play five stars light cones that probably gonna give you the best value that's why i think this is the best that you can pick from the uh battle pass like, this, this is just crazy. It, it has RNG, but all the RNG that you get from this is good. You get either attack buff for all the allies, crit damage for all the allies, energy and regeneration, which is, you're gonna need always. So, all of this is perfect. And when you max it out, it's 20% attack, 24 crit. This is, this is really good. So, I feel like for the value for it, I, I feel like it's not bad. Again, for the future play, you don't have to bother about this. It's literally PvE game. If if you enjoy the game and you want to, you know, see high numbers, get more resources, make things easier for you, it's ten dollars. I wouldn't recommend to get this, <laughs> even though you get like uh, chibi uh, profile pictures. But I, I don't know, twenty dollars for this. Ah, uh, just go with the ten if you're gonna buy it. If you, if, of course, if you if you want to support the game, yeah, of course, go ahead. But yeah, uh, that's it, I think, for the Battle Pass. I think it has really good value on top of the energy that you can get. So, yeah, it, it has... Like, for me, the top value is the Tengen <laughs> Light Cone and this item where I can craft gear. So, yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, pretty good value. Uh, let me guys know what you, if you bought it or not, because I still haven't bought it yet, as you can see. So, yeah. There is a giveaway. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I know I should have said that at the beginning, but I'm not good at this stuff. If you like to see more content, please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and bye.